Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. So me personally, I have been a victim to people that were straight up racist. You know, to people that because of then, I lost my job. Do you know that I've been fired out of my job because the guy was racist? I bet you didn't know that. Maybe you did. Literally, he fired me. And a couple weeks later, a guy showed up there. And he was like, yeah, yeah, you know, Master Guns told me he was going to give me this job. And that's why I got fired. For no reason. It's funny when some of you guys attack me, you know. Some of you guys say, oh, you're being racist because you're speaking against Black Lives Matter. And you're speaking about what they're doing, right? Because, you know, obviously, I'm not a minority. You know, obviously, you know, I've been called a European Cuban, whatever that means, right? No, no, dude. I learned how to speak English, you know. From 14 to now, because I'm still learning how to speak English, I know what it is to people to harass you because you're a minority. But I'm not buying the fact that the white man is here to make my life completely merciful. I'm not buying that, you know, there's no opportunities in this country because there is, and I'm a, a, essentially an example opportunities in this country right i'm not buying that there is you know the white man is trying to like attack me and push me down no no i'm not buying it because personal experience i spent many many years in the marine corps with them and you know what comes to find out that they're really nice people <laughs> <laughs> really nice. I had a great time. Son of my best friend. You know, big shout out to my friend Prince. He's one of my best. I mean, he's awesome, dude. Love you. Miss you, bro. I wish you'd be living down here. You got to move down here. He's white. <laughs> awesome, dude. So, again, you know, we keep watching the, the news and we keep hearing this thing. You know, the white man is bringing you down. Mm. He He's really mean to you. He's taking us down, you know, the minority. You know, I'm not buying that, man. It's just an excuse, dude. Really, really it's an excuse. I get it. Life is hard. Life is really hard. But it doesn't does not give you the excuse to commit a crime. And you see this lady here. I'm about to play this video. And she's saying it's okay. It's okay to loot. Let's watch it. If somebody decides to loot a Gucci or a Macy's or a Nike, because that makes sure that that person eats. That makes sure that that person has clothes. That's reparations. That is reparations. Anything they want to take, take it because these businesses have insurance. Anything. Anything they want to take, take it because these businesses have insurance. Just take it. You know, it's yours. Remind me of Troy. Remember when, when the guy says, immortality is yours, take it. You know, anything you want. Oh, so because you have insurance and they're going to get their money back, it's okay for you to take their stuff. I mean, it mu this must be new. This must be new. I thought that breaking down a building, I thought that burning down a place, I thought that taking something is not yours is stealing. I thought your mom showed you that. Or I thought your mom told you that when you were a kid. I remember telling my kid, hey, don't take that. Because that's not yours. That will be stealing. Apparently not. Apparently not. It is reparations. Anything you want to take, Nike. I mean, if you take Nike, you can eat. This is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. And the hard part about this and the crazy thing about this is that in Bali days, in Bali days, everything they're trying to accomplish, because like I tell you, I'm being a victim of, of racist people. And again, if you want to bring attention to an issue, if you want to bring, you know, knowledge, awareness, and you want to change your life, and you want to get people to change their life, and you want to bring an issue and have a conversation, stealing is not the answer. Jesus Christ came here not to steal. Jesus Christ came here to die for your sin so you could have a way to the Father, not to steal. So if you want to identify an issue, and you want to bring a, you know awareness to that issue. And you want to change people's life. Stealing is not the answer. This is unacceptable. Really unacceptable. To me, it's crazy. And I mean, it's not the first person. 
There's already people in the New York Times saying, hey, you know what? It's okay to have violence. You guys saw that video. I posted in here. People think this is okay, and that's not okay. I mean, this thing is being played in Fox News. Ridiculous. Not okay. Anyways, let me know what you think. Put comments down below. And as always, God is in control.